Ready? Yeah. Okay. Wait. So, okay. Yeah. Ready? We have a 7.7 .7 kilowatt uh, solar panel system. So this is the inverter. So here, uh, this is a smart inverter, and we can see here VAC. So that is a AC uh, in voltage, and this is uh, DC voltage. So right now we are making 388. So this VAC is the current we are getting from the city CPS and this is one voltage we are generating right now and uh, this is the 238 is the total watt we are generating no no sir it's not visible go back go back okay and then we have total 22 panels so all the panels are up and if you keep pressing it will give a lot of uh, details like the frequency uh, temperature so how much it generated in a day so on average it generates 40 kilowatt for 20 panels and 7 kilowatt system since this is 7.7 .7 kilowatt system it is making 42.8 um, so all the details will be available here so we have to just run over this yeah now this is the inverter and then we have here the same information consolidated information here in the photo uh, voltaic meter so there we can see the breakdown and here uh, we can see its total it had generated 100, 184 kilowatt so yesterday morning how much it was 143 yeah so 143 minus 184 it's around, around, yeah. around 42 kilowatt hour so this energy is enough to power uh, at least 10 homes in india but here we are using uh, centralized ac ac system which you know which needs now 9.5 kilowatt and we use like 60 gallons water heater that also need like 4 or 5 kilowatt so we here use uh, systems which need very high kilowatt and here is the important thing i want to say so we have prefix 9 and prefix 10 so pref uh, prefix b 9 which means like power supplied by cps so this is the one which shows the power supplied by cps 112 and then the other one is surplus power sent back to cps energy so this is the one we see here so we have sent 184 and uh, this is a lot more than what we got from cps so it's more than 60 percentage so we are generating but during uh, during winter time although the temperature will be maintaining is around 80 degree fahrenheit which is enough to make uh, enough uh, power but we will be running the heater so that time this may not be enough so we will not be able to make enough uh, power like how we are making so this system is going to make 1200 kilowatt in one month so on average we consume 1500 kilowatt per month so we have to pay only uh, six cents per kilowatt for 300 kilowatt so if anything which goes more than 600 kilowatt we have to pay 15 cents or around 15 cents nine cents for cps around 1.5 cents for fuel and fuel for surcharge it will come around 14 cents if it is anything above 600 kilowatt so this in a way it will reduce as below 600 kilowatt we need not pay more than three cents um, so we we can learn more about this the kilowatt the uh, unit the solar panel we have is like a 350 watt solar panel and we have 22 of them which makes 7.7 kilowatt so they cost on average around 24,000 if we negotiate well we can get it done for 22,000 we you know from our packet we may need to pay 50 percent of it 30 percent comes from federal and 15 percent come from cps cps is now giving for one kilowatt 60 cents they used to give 80 cents last year per kilowatt but now they have reduced they are short in their fund they don't have much money so they are giving 60 cents per kilowatt but federal government will be giving 30 30 percent off during our tax filing and we have programs like the green sky which do loan for us at free interest rate for 18 months so we can make use of that let us say we are borrowing like seven thousand eight hundred dollars or seventy eight hundred dollars we have to pay like around four hundred and four thirty dollars per month for 18 months with no interest yeah there are a lo lot of details we, we, everyone needs to come up with our own workout uh, good luck uh, just start with one or two panels and if you find it to be useful go for a bigger array thank you Yeah, ma, you got restless? Why? What? Did you stop this? I don't know.